I, did I do did I do something wrong on the show? Um, you were doubting yourself. Yeah, just uh... all right, John. You take your time. I had um... Is it still hurting you now? Uh, no. Um, I have I had great support from um, the councillors, um, from MLAs and people within the party just to say, ignore it. But in a heart of hearts, it's not easy to ignore. Why are you getting emotional, John? Um, why I stood in this election is for to, you know, to give here a strong voice. Um, but it all came down to um, sectarianism, divisive politics. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think that young people uh, want that anymore. Um, we have to move away from it. Um, I think there's a perception out there that when you stand for election or when you're in the public eye um, that you're a tough cookie and you can take anything. That's not the case with you though, is it? No. Um, uh, I'm, my nature is a caring, um, caring, loving person that um, tries their best to do what they can for everybody. Um, you're you're pretty upset. What exactly is is making you upset, John? It's just maybe the um, the insults of people. You know the you know that our people can sit and write those kind of malicious things. Um, um, Some people might say, "Do you know what? I don't think he can hack all of this. I don't think he can hack political life." Can you hack this, or is this the right career move for you, or or should you just go back to the farming? Uh, definitely not. Um, I have the, I have the brains, I have the personality, for to get things done for this constituency. But do you have the strength to cope with your critics? Uh, on a political level, yes. Because there are many but critics on, at the moment. On a personal level, nobody should ever be attacked. On a personal level, you don't get into politics to be um, to be insulted. You you know. But if you're uh, falling, personal. if you're falling at this hurdle, how are you going to cope further down the line? Uh, well, I'm not. Uh, no, well, I'm not going to change my personality for for anybody. Um, I am who I am. What is your party doing to support you at this time? They're in. You know, they're in contact. Um, is this a responsible employer? Is the STLP responsible? Oh, they are responsible. Like I had, uh, you know, as I said before, um, I was third on Friday. I was rang by Mark Yesterkin, Fergal McKinney, Joe Byrne, Alistair, and uh, they were all, you know, contacting me. Um, my uh, the policy team is there, you know, and uh, they're helping me for to set up a meeting with the NSPCC. Yeah, well, save the children. I'm and just going to go on to that now. So you are adamant after your experiences and after what has happened in the past and what's happened in Inframana yeah. that you're going to try to stamp out bullying. So yeah. what are you going to do? Uh, well, I'm. T- uh, I want to, t- you know, to say to young people and children um, that are experiencing this, to please talk to people. The, I want to organise a, a meeting with uh, NSPCC and Save the Children to, to get down to the bones of uh, you know, online bullying.